rather than defining an answer before we know the question, it's really about seeking out what the questions are. It's putting our time and resources to answering an industry need. So of course we have been developing our automation system for quite some years and then you come to a certain stage and there's some operation that you just can't do without adding more equipment. It's about safety, it's about getting, first and foremost, getting human hands off a drill pipe in the red zone. Uh, beyond that, it's getting humans out the red zone altogether. And then even beyond that, it's getting them off drill floors completely. We started out with us looking at how can we do uh, basically the pipe handling uh, on an existing land rigs by by adding some machines. So we did a, basically a business case looking at existing solutions uh, of machines that was available to keep the cost development cost down and the time to market uh, uh, short. You know, where we used to look at um, how do you mitigate the risk, how do you add guards, how do you uh, kind of quarantine personnel from, from those, those areas and, and pinch points and things like that. Well, this is, this is taking that the step further and actually saying, yeah, we're just not even gonna have people on the drill floor. The, at the end of the day, what we want to do is we want to build a system that can be multi-purposed. So it can be used for tailing pipe, it can be used for tripping pipe, it can be used for uh, doping pipe, stabbing pipe. All the things that humans are still participating in doing is what we're trying to do. We have taken sort of a commodity robotic solution and we have customized it to our need. That means we do our own controls, integrate it into the normal automation space, and we make the tools at the end of the robot to do whatever function we want it to do. The use of robotics and, and specifically the, the way we're trying to go about using our robotic systems gives us the ability to uh, to kind of open that door for automation and, and have more consistency in operation. There's, there's no need for a person on the floor uh, once the system's set up. Um, beyond that, we've been able to use the system for tailing drill pipe on and off the, the pipe cut. So for singles operations, we've been able to use the robotic system for that. And we've also been able to tail uh, eight and a half inch collars, drill collars on and off the pipe cut as well. So, so we've been running the system over the last 18 months, like I said, started with one machine, so now we've been running the, the system now with three machines for almost a year. And it's really, the, the crew is using them when they drilled the our wells here on a day-to-day -day basis. We don't have the engineers on board. We are looking at grip and spin technology, so we have a grip and spin end effector that allows us to pick up crossovers and spin in whether it be vertical or horizontal. So again, that ties into the BHA type operations, taking hands off these very manual tasks. We are currently putting out systems and products that will um, make our drilling operations hands free. We have product today that we can install on rigs that will take hands off of equipment, that will allow us to automate, that will allow us to um, really optimize drilling operations and drill floor op operations.